don't know. Is this better lighting? Well, this is kind of a spur of the moment thing. I was thinking to myself last night, probably should start filming again uh, because I haven't made one in a while. And it's summertime and you know, I, I like to make these videos as part of a project. So here I am. I think one of uh, the hardest things of, you know, this whole being in a wheelchair and living life with spinal cord injury and paralysis uh, that I haven't shown yet it is uh, getting up in the morning. That's something that we all take for granted and, and it happens so fast. Uh, however, that changes when, you know, you're paralyzed and uh, you have to rely on other people to help you get up. Um, I mean, I'm sure there, there are ways that uh, I could be more independent in the morning, um, but I've accepted the fact that uh, it's a lot faster if I, if I get help. Um, so I'm here, it's about, I don't know, almost 7 a.m. on a Sunday, and uh, waiting for my caregiver to come. We usually come every year at 7 o'clock. And uh, I wanted to film just kind of the process and what it's like every morning um, for me to get ready. So here we go. All right, so here is the scene of a crime for when my caregivers come in the morning. Uh, my chair's on the side and uh, I'm just kind of lying there waiting. But the first thing, part of the routine is stretching or passive range of motion. And um, it's for, because uh, you know, when you're, when you're paralyzed and you're lying down for hours and hours and not moving as much as someone that you know, is able-bodied, uh, for me at least, I, I get real stiff. And um, you can kind of see in this video here um, that it, my legs, they'll shake. So just right there. They, they shake and kind of spasming. It doesn't hurt. It's just uh, very positional. But stretching and the range of motion every morning really helps for the rest of the day. And it feels better. It doesn't hurt. Um, the first one we did was knee to chest. And then we also do one that kind of crosses over. This one is the out to side. So each exercise is around 10 reps. And I say around 10 reps because, you know, depending on how tight I may feel on that morning, I may ask my caregiver to stretch out a little bit more or hold the last one, which is here. This is uh, just straight up a nice hamstring stretch. This one is held for a minute, uh, but 10 reps on each side. Uh, and um, that pretty much is four, four total exercises, basically knee to chest. Uh, forget the one that's called. It's basically just uh, more of like opening up your hip uh, the out to side one, and then the straight up one. So, and each side, it takes about a total of maybe 10, 10 minutes or so. Uh, but in this video, it's obviously was sped up. So this only took 30 seconds. So once stretching is done, uh, my caregiver will bring in the shower chair so that, uh, I can go to the bathroom. Uh, here is the transfer from the bed to the shower chair. Um, obviously you need to take off underwear before going into the shower. Um, so I sit up, he helps me sit up. And this is what I mean by, you know, accepting help. And, you know, I'm sure I can be more independent in this area. However, I have accepted, you know, just, just have someone transfer you over onto the shower chair. It's so much faster, look at this. Three, two, one, boom. Oh, okay, look how easy, right? Um, and also watching this video makes me really, really just kind of see how like skinny and white my chest is anyway. But uh, so this transfer is there. It's a assisted transfer. Again, you see my caregiver, he's not using his back or anything. He, it's, it's more of a pivot kind of transfer. So leaving my room. Going to the bathroom. This is my one bedroom apartment here in Hawaii. And it is in fast motion. So once I get into the bathroom, uh, I don't go directly to the shower. We actually do 
what's called a bowel program. All right, so once I'm over the toilet, I do what is called my bowel program. Okay, and I'm gonna take some time to explain this because this is, again, this is probably the hardest part of the day or even just kind of adjusting to it. Um, and I know some, so those of you who have a spinal cord injury or are quadriplegic and have, um, familiar with bowel programs, super fun, yeah? That's a joke. It's definitely a change and, and one of the hardest things that you needed to adjust to, at least for me. Uh, unfortunately, one of the uh, cool other side effects of spinal cord injury and being paralyzed is you lose your ability to go number two and also number one, but that's another, I'll, I'll talk about that later. But uh, yeah, you, so you cannot really go on command like you used to, so you have to train your body. So I've trained my body over the years to go every day in the morning. And to do that, I also use what's called enemies, or like a mini enema. Uh, and it looks like this, it's not very, I don't know, it has like a, there's like medicine on the bottom. And then obviously this part goes up into yeah, over there. Um, yeah, it goes into the, it goes into the rectum, and then the medicine is squeezed, and it's basically docusate sodium, and it stimulates uh, a bowel movement. So that happens every day. Um, it takes about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, so that's why you see me there, kind of just sitting and waiting. But again, the adjustment to that, you know, having, you know, it's usually a, a private thing. You know, you usually don't have company when you do that kind of thing, but. You know, when you have a caregiver and you need to get things done and it's part of your life, you have, it's, it's, it just becomes normal, um, as abnormal and as weird as this sounds. But, so that's that. All right, so another fun part of spinal cord injury and this part after our bowel program is finished, um, I am holding what's called a intermittent catheter. So like I said before, you lose the ability to also go number one or two um, release your bladder so three four five six times a day I have to self cath uh, if you don't know what a catheter is if you've ever been inside the hospital and had if you're a male or female um, not the most fun things um, can't see anything here in this video but essentially that tube um, that is it's a long tube that goes all the way to your bladder and there's a hole on the end and it's connected to an extension tube in which urine can come out. Um, I do not have a super pubic catheter. I have, you know, it's just, it's just normal. So you can imagine where that goes. Uh, it looks like this. Um, obviously it needs to be long so then it can reach to the bladder. Um, I, you know, I've been doing this for 11 years. Is it painful? It was. Uh, now it's just everyday thing. It just feels like pressure. Um, but super fun stuff. All right, so once I am done emptying my bladder and catheterizing, I'm not sure if that's a word, but once I'm done with that, it is finally shower time. And you can see from this, my shower isn't the typical bathtub. Uh, this is what we call a roll-in shower. There's a little bit of a lip, but I can get it over with a little bit of help. So once I am in the shower, it's pretty much like a car wash. Um, my caregiver gets places where I can I get like my back, my feet, um, my butt, and it's nothing too exciting, but this is just how showering is. I do brush my teeth in the shower just because it's more convenient and super easy. So the entire shower process does take around 20 minutes, but once I am done, it's the same way I got in just backwards. And you really can see how easy it is with the roll-in shower, not having to deal with like a tub. My caregiver does help me with deodorant and lotion. Again, just keeping skin, you know, as healthy as I can. But that's pretty much it for the shower. So once I'm finished with the shower, I uh, head back to my bedroom so I can get changed. This view is funny because it looks like paranormal activity. Um, you can see I'm in my room. Once in my once I'm in my room, my caregiver will grab uh, or ask me what I want to wear for the day. Uh, I'll grab my shirt and my pants. I can usually do the first part of my shirt, and then it kind of gets stuck. So I'm wearing like a crop top, as you can see. And so sometimes I need help, like pulling it down. So then it, you know, looks all nice. Um, 
but yeah, so this is another transfer here. And we're about to get ready for a transfer from the shower chair to the bed. And again, again, what well, this is just a assisted transfer. I'm helping him. You, can, you can't see my hand on the other side, but it's kind of pushing and giving an extra little bit of support. So once I'm in the bed, uh, my caregiver helps, you know, kind of dress lower body. And again, I think this is an area where, you know, I know I can be more independent. However, you know, it's just so much faster when you get help. Um, also, I have a theory of why I'm kind of stubborn and don't really take much help throughout the day is because every morning I'm kind of going through this and having to, you know, just be reminded like how much help and how much aid I need just to get up in the morning. So, and this here, my caregiver is putting on this silicone type lotion for my backside because I am in the chair quite a bit and sometimes when I transfer uh, my skin gets a little damaged and just kind of it's a little rough area back there so we just kind of make sure we monitor that um, but yeah pants are on shorts are on also look at my tan lines my goodness The last transfer of the morning routine is just from back to from my bed back into my actual chair and again it's another assisted kind of pivot boom boom nice and quick oh man i really got to tan my thighs you can see like because uh i gotta pull my shorts down here and then that's why they got my not tan <laughs> when you're in a wheelchair that's what happens um but that is, uh, that's that. And, you know, through the magic of YouTube, it made it seem like this routine was only 10 minutes. However, you know, the total times are around an hour and a half, sometimes a little bit longer, depending on the day or shorter, which is also nice. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that is my routine. If you guys have any comments or questions, let me know. Um, you guys know what to do. I'm not gonna tell you, I'm not gonna tell the YouTube how to YouTube. Um, but yeah, until the next time, uh, I don't know when that will be. Um, I'll see you guys. Cat. Okay.